All right, we're back with our second section. Let's look into modeling some things. Let's start with the simple stuff. Trees. All right, here's that application I pointed out earlier, Tree It. Um, I have not used it much, but it's pretty basic. Um, uh, I don't mean basic by not feature rich, but I mean easy to understand. Uh, if you look over here, you've got a little control panel, and then over here you got your main view. There's a couple things up here, but from what I could tell, you don't really need to use most of them. Um, it's it's pretty pretty chill stuff. So you literally have um, just little sections with different nodes defining. You can flip that up. Defining the object, um, and you can build a tree out of it. So let's build kind of a pine tree looking thing. You can literally see it's just scrolling these little guys through. Yeah, so I'm literally just fiddling with uh, the little sliders and it's pretty easy to jump in and define different properties. So we already got a halfway decent looking tree here. There are honestly so many options that uh, I haven't looked at half of them. It's a pretty awesome program though. Alright, not quite a pine tree, but a tree. So I'm going to pop over here to the leaf section. Um, there's not too much more I can provide about this. It's a basic tree creator. It's very similar to Speed Tree, but I I like this a lot better. Select a new leaf. Oh. Load texture. And it should have some predefined ones. Here we go. Let's try that there. Alright, we applied our texture for the leaves, uh, but you see nothing's popping up. That's probably due to one of these sliders on our leaf count. Oh, here we go. You just have to select this uh, plus leaf tap, and it'll start drawing them in as you bring up this slider so you can just play around with these settings until you get something that you like alright there we go that's not perfect but uh... it's getting there it's it's close enough for this another thing is you can come in here and define a texture for the trunk select that right there and hit load texture Again, you can put in your own, but they have some predefined. I like that right there. We'll just select that. And hit OK. And there we go. We got a pretty halfway okay tree right there. Obviously, you can mess around and uh, get a bunch of different results. Uh, the, for the last project, I, I only made, I think, two trees, but you could make any tree you wanted. It's pretty ridiculous, and it's free, so that's nice. Uh, you just need to go up to File, Export, you're going to want to export it as an FBX. You can actually toss it. Oh, we don't want to go there. You can actually toss it straight into your um, project. So I'm going to go over here. We named it Land Test Assets. And just give it a name. 
tree. And we'll pop it right over there. It already loads in with all the needed textures, so we just throw it into the scene. Hit F to focus in, and let's scale it up a little bit. There we go. Now we're obviously getting some uh, issues with the leaves here. I'm not 100% sure as to why that is, but we can figure that out real quick. Uh, bingo. And just check alpha clipping here. I actually, uh, oh, that's nice. <laughs> the trees I made in the, the demo didn't have leaves, so I, I had not taken the time to check that out yet. But, uh, those will do for now. It's, yeah, that's not too bad. We got the nice volumetric lighting. Alright, we got trees down. Let's jump into some building stuff real quick. Hopping into Blender. Deleting the default cube. And you want to download uh, the GitHub file that I referenced in the previous video. Right here. Download that. And stick it wherever you want. You're going to need to find it again, though, so stick it somewhere you recognize. And pop this up, switch this window over to Preferences. <laughs> pop on down to Add-ons. Hit Install. And then Locate where you put the file. And just click Install Add-on. Make sure you check the little box there. All right, now if you pop up here and hit in, you should actually have a new tab that says Building Tools. We'll just switch this back to the timeline and drag it out of the way. And this little tool is pretty awesome. Uh, it, it helps a lot with building structures. So you can just hit Create Floor Plan and then down here you have a little pop-up and you're able to pick predefined shapes that's a pretty good one and you can take that and hit tab to go into edit mode A to select everything and hit add floors it'll automatically build you a floor. And then you can just repeat that. Oh, need to go into face select mode with this button. There we go. And you can just keep building and or hit add roof and just mess around a little bit. There's different selections here. Uh, that gets a pretty cool effect. And there's a bunch of different options here. We'll throw in a balcony right here. Well, maybe it doesn't quite match up. You can go in and adjust the scales. like that. Yeah. 
and I'm just going in selecting all the floors the faces for the floors above the first floor and selecting add window and this is pretty cool you can actually go in and change the count so it procedurally adjusts the model as you're doing it it's honestly a really fantastic tool we'll stick a back door back here And we can throw some stairs in right there. All right, I'd say that's looking pretty good. So we have a tree and we have a structure. The idea is to take the same technique and just repeat, create different variations of trees, create different structures. Uh, this tool is really powerful. You can create a whole bunch of stuff with it really fast. Uh, within a day, I literally made like a castle and a skyscraper and uh, a house. So, yeah, you can jump all over the place with it. But, once we have this, it works like any other model. Uh, yeah, that's a, a good thing to bring up as well. So you could add in a bunch of detail to something like this. Um, just geometry-wise, you could add in uh, gutter systems or uh, variations on the, the windows and the structure, like deformation, all sorts of stuff. We are going to texture it, but we're going to save that for the next video. I'm going to come down here and go to Export, select FBX, go back to our project folder, and within Assets, come down here, and we'll just call it Build. Dot FBX and export that out. Now if we pop right back into Unity might take a second and there it is in our scene just pop it right in there It looks like I accidentally did also import uh, the other elements from the scene. That's an easy fix. Just pop back over, file export, FBX. Leave everything the same except for click this little tab here, selected objects only. I guess it makes sense to... Uh... There we go. and hit export and it should fix it. There we go. So that's a good start. We have a textured tree, an untextured building, and a landscape and volumetric lighting along with uh, HDRI sky from the last video. Next video we're going to texture everything out and make sure that it's as photorealistic as we can make it. Thanks for hanging out guys. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Take it easy.